About a month ago, I reviewed the SaintSmart Kumitsu KL9 Resin Desktop 3D Printer. This was a really impressive kind of mid to larger size form factor desktop resin printer. And in that video, I talked about uh, the Elegoo Saturn, which was another resin printer, very similar in looks, build, um, size and features, which I had reviewed about a month prior. In that video, I said that I would be doing a follow-up where I would be comparing the Kumitsu KL9 and the Elegoo Saturn because I knew that uh, without even having to mention it, that I'd be getting questions about how does one compare to the other. Well, that was before Elegoo decided to kind of drop a bomb and release the final information about the production Elegoo Saturn model that's actually going to be released. See, the version I had was a pre-production unit or a beta unit, and based off of what I saw and what other reviewers saw, we were under the impression that that was essentially going to be just about the final version, and if there was tweaks that were gonna be made, they would be very minimal, which ended up not being the case. So instead of comparing the two machines that I have behind me here, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the Elegoo Saturn that they announced, the new features it has, and kind of compare that with the Kumitsu and just sort of how I feel about everything now. Without further ado, I hope you guys are excited. Let's get right into the video. So the Elegoo Saturn that's behind me that I reviewed came equipped with a 2K LCD panel, which I was really pleased with. The results I got were really impressive, but there was quite a few people that said, hey, if the Elegoo Mars with a smaller build plate has a 2K LCD screen and the Saturn with a larger build plate has a 2K LCD screen, doesn't that mean that the quality is going to be inferior? And technically speaking, yes, that is not incorrect because the way the MSLA or LCD based resin printers work is the LCD screen essentially is what decides the level of detail the print's going to have because it creates a mask and the pixel count of that LCD screen essentially determines how precise the tolerance is and the detail is going to be. And so if you've got a smaller 2K LCD screen and a larger 2K LCD screen, they've got the same pixel count, meaning that the smaller one, the pixels will be denser, giving you higher resolution, while on the larger LCD screen, those pixels will be slightly bigger, giving you essentially a lesser resolution. Now, I was really happy with the 2K LCD screen that the Elegoo Saturn came with. I thought the quality was really impressive, and considering how large it could print, the prints turned out phenomenal. Well, Elegoo decided to announce that on their final version, it's actually gonna have a 4K panel, which is something that a lot of people in my comments asked for, and that I saw people talking about when they saw that it came with a 2K, at least the beta unit. So with a 4K panel, the pixels are actually gonna be four times the density of the 2K panel, which is gonna be giving you a substantial bump in the overall quality and detail that the final released Elegoo Saturn is gonna be able to produce. Now, if that wasn't a big enough update in itself, over the last couple of months, I've seen the use of monochromatic LCD screens, which are essentially LCD screens that only display one tone or they're black and white. And these are not nearly as common as off the shelf full color LCD screens because there's not much use really for a monochrome LCD versus a full color LCD. Well, with resin 3D printing, a monochromatic LCD screen is going to last thousand or thousands of print hours before needing to be replaced, while a standard LCD screen will have to be replaced every few hundred hours. Some can get four, five, six hundred hours, but it's a lot less than a monochromatic LCD screen. The other major benefit is that the layer cure time of a monochrome LCD screen can be somewhere around two-ish seconds, maybe two, three seconds. Obviously, it depends on the resin. Well, on a standard LCD screen, you're getting somewhere around eight seconds per layer cure time. Of course, that also varies based off the resin. So essentially, a monochrome LCD uh, printer is able to print at four times the speed, which is a huge savings. I mean, especially if you're using these printers for production stuff and it's not just a hobby thing that you occasionally print with, that's a massive increase in the amount of parts you're able to output with the same machine. Now, the reason why I'm letting you know that is because the Elegoo Saturn also is gonna ship with a monochrome LCD screen. The version I had was a 2K standard LCD screen. The final release version is a 4K monochromatic LCD screen. So if you weren't already hyped about the 4K, certainly the monochrome LCD screen is something to be incredibly excited about. Now, based off the photos they released and video of the final Elegoo Saturn that's gonna be released, the only other difference that I saw was the 
USB port has been relocated. In the beta unit, it was right below the LCD screen, which was okay, better than being in the back of the machine, but kind of inconvenient when trying to navigate that touch screen. So on the final version, they went ahead and rerouted it to the right side of the machine, which in my opinion is going to be a much better location for that uh, USB port. Let's talk pricing. So they announced that the first 200 pre-orders for the Elegoo Saturn is going to be $300 plus shipping. Now shipping is $100 in the US and I believe they said 150 for most other places. And that's for the first 200 only. After that, the next 800 units, which will be their first shipment or their first um, pre-order of units, there's 800 units available and those will go for $100 more at $400 plus again the $100 shipping or $150 shipping. But when you compare that to the Saint Smart Kumitsu KL9, which retails at $999, that is insane. Essentially, the Elegoo Saturn is gonna be half the cost of the KL9, have a 4K panel with four times the pixel density, and be monochromatic, meaning it'll be a lot quicker to cure your prints, as well as last you a hell of a lot longer, which again, those all of those factors combined is just it's crazy to me. Just so you know, the pre-order and all of that early bird stuff is launching on June 6th, which is today, the day the video is going live. So if you're interested and you're watching this, I would recommend going to the link in the description right away and finding out more um, on Elegoo's official product page. They announced that it was gonna be released at 10 Eastern time from what I saw. Um, they didn't say AM or PM. I'm gonna assume AM, but certainly if it's something you're interested in, I anticipate them selling out very quickly. So um, again, I'd recommend going and taking a look for yourself just to be safe versus sorry. Now again, the Saturn with its announced features and its price makes the Kumitsu KL9 uh, definitely a tougher pill to swallow at at least twice the cost. However, it makes me a bit sad because I really did like and do like the Kamitsu KL9. I think it's built like a tank. It's an awesome looking machine and it functions incredibly well. I just think that there hasn't been very many mid-sized machines and so there was not an exact pricing that made sense all around and Elegoo now with this is kind of setting the pricing because of what you're able to get for four or 500 US dollars. Realistically, just like Elegoo was able to make a revision which implemented the new LCD screen and the rerouting of the USB port, I'm hoping that Saint Smart and the Kamitsu KL9 can do something similar where they're able to offer a different version that maybe has an upgraded 4K panel and monochrome LCD screen. I also do think that if they want to stay competitive, they're going to have to adjust pricing from that $999 price tag. The KL9 did just launch, so it is possible that it was already natively going to be a bit less. Uh, but again, at the time being uh, of recording this, it's still $999. One other thing that's worth mentioning is although the pre-order is on June 6th, Elegoo claims that the Saturns will not be shipping until the beginning of August. So if you do need a mid-range, uh, resin or larger size resin LCD printer, then the Komitsu KL9 is still a great option. If you're not currently able to wait, you know, two and a half months for this printer to release, the KL9 is currently available. You can go pick one up right now. I think they're over on Amazon. Uh, but again, I'll link you down to the KL9 as well if you do want to read up more on that printer as well. To me, it really feels like desktop resin printers are hobby level resin printers are kind of going the same route as FDM printers did. They started off as being quite expensive and not very good and they got better and better and cheaper and cheaper until we've been, you know, gifted with these Creality machines or the Ender machines and it seems like resin's going the same way. It's getting better and better with the LCD screen technology and the price is going further and further down and me, being a consumer as well, am incredibly excited to be able to have this technology in the hands of so many more people than it being priced at a price tag that's just not attainable for your average person. I'm going to be holding off on the Elegoo Saturn pre-order as much as I want one. I'm just gonna be waiting a bit. I do hope I'm able to get my hands on one though because they look awesome. I have no doubt that Elegoo is gonna be able to fulfill um, kind of their promise with this machine. They've never let me down in the past and their machine, their Mars has been one of my favorite or probably my favorite resin printer that I've used and it's gained my trust and I've used it more than any other resin printer that I've ever um, gotten my hands on. So on that note, I hope you guys are all doing well. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and you wanna support the channel even more so. Links will be down below to my Patreon. There's a lot of awesome rewards and it's a great way to help me produce more content for you guys. As always, this has been Daniel from ModBot. I produce content every single Saturday. So again, make sure you subscribe. There's always something new and fresh coming your way. On that note, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video and I'm out. Peace guys.